Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how do you add shadow to image in Photopia. So let's get into the video. Firstly, open up Photopia. So I've opened it on my browser, so you can uh, use the application or browser. So I've opened it up. So once you're here, so what I'm going to do, you can either uh, choose a new project or drop your files here. So I'll just choose a new project. I'm going to start something new and then just use any template here. Probably I'll just use this template. Okay, so select it. All right, so once this is done, so what I'm going to do now here is I'm going to uh, add a new layer here. So click on new layer. So I'm going to add that. All right. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the rest of the images, uh, layers because I don't really need them. I only need this one. So just delete that. All right. Okay. And then now I have this layer here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to add some image. So I'll click on the gallery option and then probably I'll add an image. So I'll just, just this one. All right. Okay. I'll close that. Okay. So that's the image that I'm going to add shadow. So I'm going to like just resize it, make it a bit smaller so that I can do the shadow. All right, that's done. And then here, what you can do, you can actually uh, uh, rename this just so that I know what this layer is. So okay, just put demo. All right, so I'm going to add shadow to this. So what I'm going to do, just double click on this um, uh, 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 file here. So on this layer. So once you double click, you'll get to this option here. So what you have to do here, you go to click on drop shadow. Right, click on drop shadow, and then you can uh, put, uh, choose this uh, bend uh, bend up mode. I'll make it as multiply, and then I have all these uh, settings here. You can play around and uh, do all these changes here you want. So I will just mostly leave it as it is. Okay, and that's it. And once the once that's done, click on OK, and you can see that shadow is now created. So you can uh, customize this shadow as I said earlier. But yes, this is how see uh, shadow has been created. So that's pretty much it. Is that's how you do it. Hope this video is helpful to you all. I'll see you all in another video. Thank you.